Hey you peeps, this is Down Perry and today I want to talk about a topic that I've been thinking about for a longer time now. As you can see in the title of this video, today's video is about why I think that going to the gym is pointless. I know this is not a video about Wesnov, so sorry to my few loyal viewers who like my Wesnov content, but don't worry guys, I'm still playing the game and I will upload Wesnov videos soon. So yeah, alright, let's start with the video. So first of all, I'm not saying that exercising is bad. I know it can, of course it can make you live a healthier lifestyle, but yeah, but going to a gym is just the dumbest thing a person could do in my opinion. So why do I think that? Let's think about the reasons why people actually go to the gym, specifically young men around my age. Do they do it to stay healthy or to live a healthier lifestyle? No, of course not. You might think that because it seems obvious, but Almost every single man out there does it for one reason only. And now that I said it like this, I think you might know what reason I mean. They do it to impress women. Almost every single man out there. I promise. So what do we, I don't know, maybe like 1% other men go there for? Um, the reasons could be, I don't know, maybe to actually want to stay fit or to get fit. Um, maybe some of them have back pain and they go there to handle that or maybe they just want to gain respect from other men or maybe it's their hobby and they simply like doing it i mean come on guys let's don't let's don't lie to yourselves um let's be honest here the majority of young men lifts weights in order to get women to get the chicks that's simply the truth so let's talk about all these reasons the first reason as i just said is young men go there in order to impress women and I've never understood this. I mean, why would you gain muscles in order to impress women? Aren't you aware that these chicks only like you for your looks? In my humble opinion, there's something else that is much more important than looks, and that is personality, a good character. I know that in today's society, women have crazy standards, and most of them only want to be with chats. But here's the thing, you don't deserve such a slut. Who only cares for your looks yeah i just said it i said the truth believe me or not there are still good women out there um of course most women only want to be with good looking guys but why would that even matter to you why would you even want to be with a girl that doesn't even appreciate who you truly are so you are actually just a slave for women in this regard so again you don't deserve someone who only cares about your looks do you really think that chick would like you if you didn't put on that weight? I mean, okay, maybe you found a truly good girl and that would be great for you, but I want you to be very honest here. By the way, if you are short, you can go to the gym as often as you want, but women will still not like you. If you are shorter than the women that you desire, you can be happy if she even puts you in the friend zone, if you even have a chance for that. So I have a girlfriend and I've always thought that she's one of the different girls. But one day she told me something that completely shocked me. So she told me that if I were shorter than her, she would have not started dating me. My own girlfriend said that to me. It really shocked me. It hurt me. That's like a man saying to a woman, if you had small breasts, I would not be your boyfriend. Right? I mean, it's just mean and it doesn't even make sense. But it shows us the truth, that looks and height matter the most to women. And of course, for us men, looks matter too, but not as much as for women. I mean, most guys would just be happy to have a regular girlfriend. They wouldn't mind if their girlfriend wouldn't look like the best supermodel. Of course, we don't want some very ugly chick. But if you shower regularly, brush your teeth and take a bit care of your appearance, then you're likely enough. But that's not the case the other way around. Let's put it like this. If I were single and there would be a girl with small breasts, but she treated me in a good way, why wouldn't I give her a chance? Personality matters much more than looks. I'm diving more and more into the black pill here, and maybe that's a topic for another video. And maybe this whole girl saying my boyfriend needs to be taller than me thing is just based on their evolutionary instincts. So maybe they see shorter men as not being able to protect them. But that leads me to the next reason why young men go to the gym. And that is gaining respect, mostly from other men. So what does the term respect mean? Maybe you, as someone who goes to the gym, might think that 
other men will see you as dangerous or that people will stop bullying you if you get bigger. And this is undeniably true. But again, you are doing it for other people. Some guys might say, hey, I don't go to the gym to get chicks, but to be able to defend myself. And honestly, I can understand that viewpoint very much. Um, I've always been that thin, sometimes skinny kid. So yeah, some people have told me my wrists are bigger than your biceps. They to they've told me <laughs> my wrists are bigger than your biceps. So yeah, I can honestly understand you guys. And when these people told me this, I was always like, yeah, so what? Sorry for being a normal human. What does my, what does the size of my biceps matter? I mean, you're still supposed to accept me as a fellow human. Sorry for being normal. Um, so that was my reaction to them. But Dawi, we don't live in your fairy tale world where there's no physical harm. So your opinion kind of doesn't matter here. I know, in reality, people often don't accept other people, weaker people. Bullies often pick weaker people than themselves. They would never mess with stronger children than themselves. But here's the thing. You don't need to go to the gym to be able to defend yourself. You just need a gun. If you have a gun, you can literally just blow that guy's head off. This guy can go to the gym as often as he wants. He can be as big as he wants, but you can just shoot him. You don't need to get muscles in order to be able to defend yourself against other people, against people who are bigger than you. Disclaimer, by the way, if you live in a state where carrying a gun is illegal or in a country where it is illegal, wherever you live, then don't do this. Unfortunately, I have to say this, big brothers watching, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm not responsible for anything you do. But for the sake of argument, in theory, you don't need to get physically strong in order to gain someone else's respect very quickly. But if we don't consider such scenarios and just focus on normal everyday life, then I can understand all these insecure guys who just want to get more confidence. I can truly understand them. That is one of the only reasons I can understand when you're going to the gym. And I think it's pretty sad that we live in such a society where you are going to the gym for a reason like that. But ultimately, my opinion doesn't matter here since I can change it. Also, if you are just happy with your physique, but you notice other people intimidating you, then you might want to attend a self-defense course. Just a quick tip, by the way. Next reason why you go to the gym. You genuinely like it. And these guys are the biggest liars to me. You don't do it for yourself because you like it. Don't lie to yourself. Of course you enjoy other people complimenting you. No, it's not a nice bonus. Just be honest here. At the bare minimum, it's 50-50. At the minimum, 50% you do it for yourself because you like it and the other 50% is for other people as well. Of course you enjoy other people complimenting you and gaining more respect. I don't even mean that in a bad way, but just be honest here at least. What does doing it for yourself even mean? I mean, lifting weights or just doing push-ups, it just hurts. It's not even fun. By the way, if you genuinely like doing it and it is your hobby, then it is none of my business. I have no right to criticize you for doing something that you like while harming no other people, even if I don't understand it. But again, be honest with yourself. I mean, lifting weights is no fun activity. So it requires a lot of willpower to go there every day and to do your exercises. It's a hard thing to do. And why would you do such a hard thing? Most people do hard things in order to achieve something, to get a benefit out of it. What is yours? Next reason, it is your only possibility to stay in shape. It's the only place where you can do something to stay in shape. And that is a reason that I can partly understand. There are many other physical things that you could do other than going to the gym. For example, you could go running or play volleyball. But here's the thing. I have the privilege of not living in a big city. I can go out into nature whenever I want. If I want to run some miles, nobody needs to see me. I have great woods and fields in my area. But most people who watch this video might be living in a very big city. You don't want to have other people see you and laugh at you while you're looking exhausted in public. And playing volleyball, you might not even have friends to play with. And I don't blame you. So if you live in a big city and you just came home from your 9 to 5 job, the only way of staying in shape is actually hitting the gym for you. 
Nobody laughs at you for looking exhausted there. I mean, it's a gym after all. And home workouts, even if you just want to do something against the back pain that you got because of the modern time we live in, I think going to the gym will bring you better results. I'm honest here. And if you're not shy, maybe you can make some friends in the gym. Or maybe it's already the place where you meet your colleagues after work. Good thing for you. Again, I can change reality, but this is quite sad what society has come to. The gym is the only place where most people are able to do something for their body. I'm so glad I can go out into nature whenever I want, that I can just do things outside and that I have actual fun. But please don't be one of the people who go to the gym just in order to use the treadmill. I mean, dude, you are paying 30 bucks or so for your membership just in order to walk? Are you stupid? Maybe home exercises aren't as bad as some people might think here. By the way, I don't understand why women even go to the gym. Why would you lift weights as a woman? Why would you even want to get big muscles? It's literally disgusting. You can just do some home workouts and you don't have to go to the gym as a woman. Again, this is just my opinion, but I think it's so weird if women do manly stuff. Women with big muscles just look so unnaturally and ugly. But that is not the point of this video. I want to add something else. Do you eat healthy? You need a good nutrition in your life in order to stay healthy. I'm talking eggs, milk, meat, vegetables, basically unprocessed food. In our modern world, especially in the United States, it's pretty hard to live a healthy lifestyle. So eating junk food and unhealthy stuff is very common. If you ate healthy things and started walking more, you wouldn't even need to exercise anymore. I see so many fat people saying they've been hitting the gym lately. But none of them actually lose weight because they're still drinking their beer and their soda while eating chips and microwave food every single day. Maybe I can upload a video about good nutrition one day. So all in all, most people just go to the gym in order to impress other people. And that is plain stupid. If you truly want to do something for your body, then just go outside, enjoy nature, eat healthy things, you know, that kind of stuff. And if you truly need or want to exercise, then you don't need to spend your money on something that you could just do at home. I know I will get hate for this video, but I only said true things and I don't care if I insulted someone's lifestyle if I'm the one who has fun all the time and truly enjoys himself without trying to impress others. Alrighty guys, that was just my personal opinion on this topic. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye!